Thank you for choosing Sign Lighting World products. In this video, we'll show you how to cut your DMX LED flex tubing, connect it to the power supply, and use the front connector and end connector kits to protect your tubing from coming into contact with the elements. As a safety tip, always remember to unplug your tubing and connector kit during all the cutting and assembling steps. First, we'll show you how to connect the DMX front connector plug to the LED controller and power supply. Connect the brown 24 volt DC wire from the flex tube front connector kit to the positive side of the power supply. The blue wire is the ground and connects to the black wire. They also connect to the controller block. To make sure that you're inserting the wires correctly, check inside the port and unscrew the screw to make sure that the block is open and the metal piece moves from the top to the bottom. Insert the wire, tighten it back up so that the metal piece in the block moves back towards the top. The brown wire goes into the positive port, the blue wire goes into the ground port, and the yellow wire will connect to the data port. Once it's installed, you can change modes, colors, and speeds from the controller pack. Next, we'll show you how to cut your DMX tubing and to connect it to the front and end connector kits. For the purposes of this video, we're actually demonstrating on the Flex Pro style of tubing, but the instructions are the same for DMX. Plug the tubing into the front connector plug. The prongs go on the outer part of the board. If it lights up correctly, you're ready to cut. DMX can be cut to size every 8 inches. There is a yellow line printed on the tape that will give you a general idea of where you can cut. Make sure you're unplugged when you're cutting and you want to get a clean square cut so that the connector kit goes on easily. Now you're ready to put on your front connector kit. First, put the rubber gasket on the plug and plug into the flex tube. Next, put on the anti-skid clip on the end. You'll have to crimp the clip with pliers to make the aluminum clip easier to slide on. Then slide on the aluminum clip with the holes facing the plug all the way to the end. To secure the kit, take the tiny little screws and tighten into place. Plug it in and make sure the front connector is secure. For the end kit, put the rubber gasket on the end of the tube. Put on your anti-skid clip, crimp with pliers, slide on the aluminum clip with the holes facing the end, Place the end cap over the rubber gasket and screw into place. And there you go. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us and we'll be more than happy to help you.